coverings, right? So he pushes, right? So he pushes both, I, I change to one side. Because if I keep trying to fight this, then I, you know, it's impossible to resist. So when he pushes, I go to one side. So at least I have one strong leg as a fulcrum and I try to turn him. So I don't keep using that force. And if I know he's solid here, no point fighting anymore, right? So I'm gonna change direction, right? Because this is where his strength is. When I turn him, he send the force to that leg. There's no point. So I'm gonna find a place where there's no leg. So when I try to go here, there's no leg behind him. So then he's got to quickly change to another weight, mm -hmm. that leg. And not too big a circle, just a very little movement. Yeah, just right there. Right? You just got to change. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So from here, he's a little bit hard. He's locked up here. I can move him now. You understand? Mm -hmm. He has to, in order to open this, he has to give me force. As soon as he gives me force, then I got him. And we said, everything, this point, connects to all of the rest of the body. So the, the thing to do is to move that point away. And said, so if I punch, yeah. Not too much, you don't need it again. Keep the contact and then just move it here. Now I, I don't affect his body anymore. Right, so he can go here. He can even push me this way, this way, towards me. Right, so if I resist, I can push this way, then I'm gonna go. So again, same thing. So be, uh, <coughs> your force going, going outside my body. My direction and go to your center. Part. Yes. So you're going to my center. So that's why I need to either take it away off my center or in this direction also. So why are we doing this? We're going to eventually input this into the fighting part of it. So instead of pushing, that's why I said don't get too caught up in doing this kind of stuff. You're going to go here, here, here. So. So instead of, say for example here, you come here, right? So this is what I'm gonna do. So if a guy does come, again, right? This, I'm gonna hit him with that, right? So this is why you need to keep your hands inside, okay? And then we're gonna practice, yeah? So this, this, if I got my hand in, means already I'm hitting him. So, so if he gets in this hand in there, so I, I just rotate it a little bit, you see? And the force is gonna go this way, right? Instead of, receiving it 100% impact here. All I have to do is take it a little bit of angle and then, you know, I, I lose th that impact. The impact is gone, right? So with this 20%, 30%, then it's not gonna hurt me as much, let's put it this way. So depending on the, on the you know, his force. So for example here, in this situation, let's say, you know, we're going to be doing Wing Chun in the part. This is exercise is just to feel the center and the structure, right? So, so you attack me, whatever it is, right? So I'm here, right? I'm here. So you, again, make, make another attack. So again, there's another hit here, right? So if he's busy with my hand, you see, then, then, I, then he's actually occupying himself too much here, right? Right? So you're there. So again, this is not a good move right here. You see what happened? He's, he's already, this is my doors, gates. And just like a gate with a bar, his hand is outside the bar. My hand is already inside his gate. You see part of his gate. So from here, I'm going here. Pak, pak that. And I said, well, he can. He can't hit me until he releases that. Then I'm, when he releases that, I'm going to hit him. Okay? So 